Hey YouTube, Santa Frank here. This week's episode of Hobby Talk, I wanted to talk about grading cards and the current state of card grading and um, what I think is going to be happening and what I think uh, I'm going to do in life with the card grading. So right now we are starting to enter a new era of card grading. Um, of course, we know the huge card grading boom where everybody was great. Well, not everybody, but there was a lot of people grading a lot of cards. Just tons and tons of card grading to the point where PSA actually had to shut things down. They were getting so many cards. That definitely has ended. Um, and um, about, you know, towards the end of things in like... Uh, February, March of 2021, it, it had got to a cost of $25 a card to grade um, just bulk submissions for like sports cards. I think it was at $20 for Pokemon. And they were still getting slammed with cards. Since then, we've kind of had a bubble um, of card grading. All these cards coming back from card grading companies have hit the market. Graded card prices have definitely gone down, and a lot of the people that were doing the card grading have moved on to other stuff. I mean, it was during COVID, so this was a way people could, you know, continue making income during uh, the times of COVID. So now that the world is emerging out of COVID, um, I think the card grading companies are seeing that the whole card grading world is different now. And, um, of course, that anything that happens is going to cause opportunities for people if they keep their eyes open on things. Like right now, you can buy graded cards for a really good deal because a lot of people, I mean, they're done. They got their cards back from grading. have probably already you know, gotten into different things where they're not that interested in it and are just trying to get their money back out of their grading. So there's a lot of good deals out there for graded cards. Um, card grading companies, the ones that survived all this, like the big nut names like PSA, BGS, CGC, um, SGC, uh, all these those big four card grading companies, they uh, they are now in an all-out war for your dollar, for your card grading dollar, and we're seeing prices continue to go down and down and down for the cost of grading cards to where now. PSA just uh, lowered their prices at PSA you can now they have a special right now you can send TCG cards in for $15 per card to grade and honestly it seems like that's a kind of maybe a little bit high um, I did put together a couple orders um, I'm gonna probably send them in here in the next couple weeks to take advantage of the $15 grading but my orders each time they uh, lower stuff my number of cards I'm sending in are smaller and smaller um, and that's, I'm probably pretty typical. I don't know, maybe I'm not, but, um, I'm sure I'm not the only person that is sending in fewer and fewer cards. I'm being more and more picky about what cards to send because honestly, by my, um, formulas that I go by on what cards to grade, there's less and less cards that are worth spending money to get graded. So, um, even at the lower rates, I'm sending in fewer and fewer cards. But I still have cards I want to send in. Don't get me wrong. But as all these other card companies are noticing, they're not getting that many cards, as many, I should say, cards to in for grading. Uh, they have to lower their, their uh, prices to keep cards coming in. And I think the cards just aren't coming in because we continue to see the prices go down a little bit more, a little bit more. And um, I think they're going to continue to creep down, and hopefully they'll creep down all the way they were before all of the card grading boom started. Um, if if you if you have been doing this for a while, you'll remember that PSA had a a Pokemon grading special before all this big boom for seven dollars and fifty cents per card. Oh, what a great deal that was. I was able to get a lot of good cards graded back then. Um, I mean, now 
it's double that of what you could send in. And for a while there, it was, you know, astronomical to grade cards when they had the huge backlog. And they've gone through all that backlog, guys. And now they're trying to keep cards coming in. And they're not going to be coming in unless they keep lowering prices. So things will get back to, um, to a point to where it's affordable to grade. Now, I will say that PSA will continue to lower prices until um, they start getting more cards in per month than they are grading because they want to keep that. They don't want, they would love to have that backlog back, I'm sure. But since it's gone now, um, they're not going to want it to pile up like it was before. So they're going to want to keep it like a, a certain amount of cards each month so they're going to set their prices prices accordingly and the other card companies they want to survive they're going to have to come down to where PSA is and you know this is all it does is make more um, more options that people have to grade cards the cheaper it's going to be so having four pretty entrenched card grading companies and, and bigger companies doing stuff like this is only going to help people grading stuff the people that, uh, the consumer, which is, you know, you and I, and as long as people keep grading things, it's going to remain good buying opportunities out there for, for grading cards. Now I have noticed that, um, some prices on things are starting to tick up a little bit. So maybe the market is starting to, um, that huge glut of slabs is starting to get bought up. And of course, everything goes by supply and demand, you know. So once that supply starts drying up, the prices will go up on on grade cards. I've done really well with grade cards, even though I'm no expert. That's for sure. You can look at some of my results from grading, you can tell I don't know much of what I'm doing, but I still was able to be pretty successful at it, and. Um, definitely made um, some good money was able to pay for all my grading you know you know by selling off multiple like if I sent in two cards to get graded I would I would sell off the one that got the lower grade just doing that more than paid for all my grading fees so I'm very happy with with the, the decision to start grading cards and it's been very fun I mean I still got a bunch of cards I want to send in but it's just not nearly as many as what it used to be way gone are the days where I would send in 150 200 cards in one order now I'm trying to keep the orders a lot smaller it just it's a lot less of a of a hit on your accounts and um, less scrambling to 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 uh, sell some stuff to pay for these orders so um, yeah I've definitely learned from that and I feel like I'm going to continue to be a player in the graded card game. Um, I buy some here now and then that I think are really good deals. I think as prices continue to drop for graded cards, people are going to be doing a lot more um, cracking out of slabs and resubmitting to try to get better grades. It wasn't very feasible when it was expensive to grade, but when it, as it gets cheaper, I think um, I think it's a no-brainer. Like. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert and I've seen many cards I've cracked out slabs and actually got a really good results out of doing that. Like got nines and then now turned into tens, eights that turned into nines. Very rarely do they turn into a worse grade for me, but I'm pretty picky on what I send in to, and break out of my slabs. So we're definitely seeing the next um the next era i guess of card grading now we're about to see the card grading company wars this is going to be interesting to see how cheap it does get to grade cards and will that draw in a lot of the people to grade cards more um we'll just see now that covid's over a lot of people have moved on to other things and you know all their focus isn't on being at home all the time and going through, you know, their old hobbies and old collections and 
you know, scrounging up cars to send into grade to get by, you know. Um, so this is a new era. This is very interesting. Um, you're definitely seeing the prices of uh, the overblown prices for grade stuff come back down, being marketed credit cr corrected. I I don't think it's a crash. I think it's just a market correction because stuff was just way too expensive. And when that happens, guys, the price of wax will start coming down. I cannot wait for that. We're already seeing stuff like uh, like Topps Chrome, even though that's a bad example because it was a nightmare disaster for Topps. But a lot of stuff has been coming out and then dropping down in price pretty quickly because people are finally saying, you know what, that's too much to pay for a, a box of cards. I'm not paying that. And, you know, these places, these places are going to start realizing they need to get the prices down to where um, there's a happy medium where they can sell boxes of cards, sell cards, and um, still make money. So um, I definitely think the prices of hobby boxes as they come out are going to start correcting as well. That will be a good thing. I definitely have been eyeballing deals on Star Wars boxes. I haven't been able to buy any for a long time because the prices just got ridiculous. So. I have over, I'm looking at them right now, a bunch of boxes that I can't wait to uh, do on box openings for the future because I've been wa waiting uh, for deals to pop up and they have been popping up and I've been trying to hit them and take advantage of them as they pop up. But uh, I think the stuff that I am into seems like it's definitely um, getting cheaper and I'm excited for that to be able, you know, I love opening stuff on the channel. Um, stuff like this, like this is really cool. This was uh, something from Tops, um, Tops.com. I think their New York store sold these. These Logo Fractor boxes, this was a great deal. Um, stuff like that's going to pop up every now and then. And people are going to be uh, finding some deals here and there. Some good opportunities. And I'm excited for uh, this upcoming year of collecting. Um, I think it all ties in with card grading. Um, as prices come back to normal, um, people can start doing it more and get more joy out of it because they're doing it at the affordable prices instead of spending too much. Because you definitely don't want to spend too much for stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you guys, uh, but down in the comments, guys, what do you think of the card grading prices? What do you think they'll end up at? I think there's still got ways to go down. Are you waiting to grade some stuff? Are you done grading? What are your plans? Let's let's see what you guys have to say in the comments. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos later.